Hi, End of the Road News, Taylor Taranto. Uh, so I've been telling stories lately. One was about Jaden not being in BOP. I still believe that's true. They still not in BOP. Disappeared. Uh, I did a story about Jake Lang, which was really strange considering that people were like, hey, check to make sure he's in there with you. And I never saw him in here with me. It's very strange considering he was here for months. And uh, now they're making a big story about he was in solitary confinement for 36 days. And as if that's some sort of accomplishment. I've been in here for a really long time. And didn't see him in here with me. So that's weird. So we had a bunch of, like, at least three white guys at the same time besides me. Uh, at that time when I was supposed to be checking and none of them were Jake Lang two of which disappeared as fast as they came and the other guy who was here during the entire duration that he was supposedly in here who looked nothing like Jake Lang did not look like anything like Jake Lang <laughs> and uh, didn't talk like Jake Lang either so that's the weird part about it anyways here's another weird story okay so I was in D.C. and I was attended Dr. Kaufman's sentencing. This is the uh, this is the co-defendant in the civil suit against this wrongful death of this officer that there's no proof that ever died. So Dr. Kaufman was sentenced uh, about a year ago, two months. He was sentenced to two months in D.C. jail. This is where it gets weird. His number in the system, and it's not his full name, there's no David Kaufman in the system. There's a David Wells, which might be the same guy, David Wells Kaufman, but his number is 389-242, and mine is 385-430, which indicates that's 4,000, approximately 4,000 individuals uh, in here after me, which is weird because he was in before me, um, and he was sentenced to this place, and I am saying this because the judge was asked if he can do the time at his house, which was very specific, no, not at his house. Uh, so when I was arrested, I went to the J6 pod, where all J6ers go, according to staff. I wasn't sent there until my lawyer requested it. I was locked behind a metal door to watch J6er, J6ers interact with each other while continuously harassed and threatened by my door. So. I was let out nightly with no means of communication to the outside world. No one wanted to allow me. I didn't have a tablet, no way of communicating with the outside world, no phone access. It was really strange because they had all of that. And it was almost as if they didn't want me to actually tell my end of the story. So uh, they would all go into their rooms while I had like a, an hour or two after 10 when the, when the phones were off. I was let out after four days. I was lured into a room where, by, by um, Jake Lang, and then I was assaulted. I never saw Dr. Kaufman the entire time. He wasn't in there. At the sentencing, it didn't look like him either. This is just from my recollection. It didn't look like him. I was like, where is the guy? And he pointed him out, and um, he was shorter. <laughs> <laughs> he was shorter and had a bigger head than I remembered on J6 because I, I, I did I did come in contact with the guy but it was only for a short time I've never talked to him etc Aaron Smith um, was present and also looked drastically different wearing a nose brace while begging the judge to charge him with killing her husband without her lawyer present alright so I want to tell you that she was wearing something on her nose. It was like a... You have one minute remaining. She's wearing a nose brace. Um, and she was not at the last couple of hearings where the civil case is ongoing. Even though they tell us that she is, she doesn't say anything. So, Anyways, uh, so it's really weird where these people are. Anyways, D.C. is fake and gay. It's fake and gay shit will spy capital of the world, they tell us. And there's no transcript. I've been telling you guys to look up the transcript. It's gone. Dr. Kaufman's sentencing transcript is gone. It's gone. It's missing. If you go look up his case, it's not there. So this whole thing is rather strange. 
uh, how do you get 4,000 arrests after me before you come in here? The guy's missing. Everybody's missing. John Sullivan's missing. Tell me there's something, tell me everything about this January 6th stuff is totally fine, and I'll show you all sorts of discrepancies in the story, among other things that are just terrifying. Because Thank you for using Global Tellink.